All right, welcome, friends. Hang on just a second. Welcome, friends. Coast to coast and worldwide. You're live on the air with Pastor Rick. That's right. You're live on the air, friends. It is January 10th, just a little after 530. Let's grab a couple of channels here. Amen. Just a second here. And wait a minute. All right. Hang on a second here, friend. Sorry about that. I had a little bit of quietness there. I forgot. Uh, I'm having a little bit of difficulties in the studio here. Again, uh, technical issues and uh, some things that, are, that uh, have broken on me. Uh, I'm not sure why. So we got uh, we got Tin Can here. Just a second, we're gonna go live on there. All right, Tin Can, there you are, Marcy. All kinds of stuff going on here in the studio. Uh, this isn't gonna be too long. Probably half an hour. Uh, I got a couple of things to take care of at uh, about six, six thirty, something like that. So uh, this isn't like I said, just a few scriptures for you. We're going to roll through just a few, uh, uh, you know, as the usual. And then we're going to pray it in. And uh, we're going to look at our podcast notes here for tonight. Uh, let's see. We have uh, some issues with the problem or with uh, echo and delay. Really, really bad. I don't know what it is. I don't know what happened to that. But uh, there it is. But, uh, yeah, I had some major, major delay and echoes in my uh, mixer there uh, with Spreaker. And it was just doubling up on me. Now, I already had everything straightened out, so I have no idea why it uh, started messing up there. Anyway, I'm going to pull a couple of channels up. We're going to go live on Radio.co uh, if I can't get anything else. There it is, Radio.co UK. Pastor Rick here uh, for January 10th. 10th Wednesday wanted to do an update. I know it's been a few days here, uh, or a couple of days since I have been on the air. So uh, we're live. We got Spreaker, we got Blog Talk Radio, Tin Can Radio.co, and a little bit more there. And of course, this will be uploaded on all your favorite uh, podcast channels there. So uh, we are live streaming apparently, and uh, yeah, I guess that's rolling. All right, so. Uh, yeah, welcome, friends. And again, I uh, had some major delay problems with our Spreaker channel, so we're just going to gonna just go through it. So anyway, we are live on Spreaker, my friends, and the Block Talk Radio. Again, this is going to be a brief one, 30 minutes. I'm just waiting on a, a message back. So pray, let's pray it in and uh, get to the uh, scriptures here, as I like to do. I have the Father. Thank you again for another day, even though it's been cold and Definitely uh, wintry weather. Father God, I just give you all the glory, honor, and praise. I thank you for everything that you continue to do. It's amazing. And uh, just glad to be uh, called to this ministry and called to this mission. I pray over the Wi-Fi, over the connections, over everything in the studio here. This is your church. This is your service. And I'm just, uh, uh, you know, I'm just uh, trying to do what I can for the kingdom. Uh, I pray for everybody out there, everybody hearing, listening, watching, uh, viewing the podcast, family, of course, uh, friends, everybody connected, um, you know, that, uh, you know, you, you put your, or have your holy angels around them, Father God, and surrender them, or surrender them, or surround them. <laughs> there it is. I knew it was something. It's not surrender. It's surround them with your heavenly angels, Father God. Thank you so much. I get always tongue tied here. Uh, I'm just glad to be in service. Uh, for the kingdom here and I, I just appreciate the opportunities I get so I just give it all over to you right now in Jesus name I pray amen all right my friends well you know that's nothing new I get a little tongue-tied when I try to pray and you know I <laughs> get my get my thing going on here well I want to I want to send some shout outs to my little sisters of course my kids my family everybody out there of course everybody on the channels uh, thank you guys again for all your major support. That is really awesome. And of course, uh, Christian Washers of the Heavenly Signs, Brother Mark over there. And uh, let me get my notes together here. Uh, of course, uh, 
Pastor Ina over at uh, Soma Numa Pedia, uh, over at IMVU, YouTube, uh, the Church of God's Children, and more. So there you go. Uh, sending shout outs to my friends, uh, family, and you guys out there listening and watching the podcast. So let's get into it, friends. Like again, uh, I would say, hey, the doors are open, church is on. We are here. You're live on the air. And uh, appreciate you guys uh, being here and supporting the channel. Thank you guys so much for uh, everything. So let's get right into it. Lots to cover, lots to do. Uh, as, uh, let's see, let's say, pull some extra channels up. I want to make sure, again, with the delays and echoes, I'm not sure what's that going on or happening. All right. There it is. Great. <laughs> All right, there it is. So uh, we're going to just keep rolling right through it. A little scriptures here. Let's get into our podcast notes, as I always like to do, uh, on this audio podcast for the 10th of January, friends. Just a little after 530. Now, dear God, I know that I'm a uh, sinner and I need a savior. I want to turn away from my sinful life to the life you have planned for me. Please forgive me for my sins. Cleanse me of my past. Make me new. I know your son, Jesus Christ, died on the cross for me, and I believe in my heart that you raised him from the dead. At this very moment, I accept, confess, and proclaim Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior to live in my heart from this day forward. Thank you, Jesus, for your grace that has saved me from my sins and has given me eternal life. Please send your Holy Spirit to guide me and help me to do your will for the rest of my life. And friends, in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen and amen. All right, how about that serenity prayer, friends? Let's roll right on through it. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Living one day at a time, friends. That's what we got to do. A day at a time, my friends. That's right. All right, let me pull something up before I get too far into the podcast. I want to make sure we got audio there. All right, that sounds good. Uh, let's keep going, friends. As he says, uh, I cannot change to uh, see, uh, except the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Living one day at a time and enjoying one moment at a time, accepting hardships as the pathway to peace, taking as Jesus did the sinful world, as it is, not as I would have it, Trusting that he will make all things right if I surrender to his will, that I may be reasonably happy in this life and supremely happy with him forever. Friends, in the next, amen. All right, how about that Lord's Prayer? On this audio podcast, friends, we're going to do that right now as we are, amen. Let's see, a couple of things pulled up in the mixer there. All right, how about that Lord's Prayer, friends? Our Father, which are in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And again, this isn't going to be the normal longer video now or podcast. If I get a chance and an opportunity either after 1130 or 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning, I'm going to go on StreamYard because I wanted to, I have a whole set of messages I'm going to do. We're going to go into the book of Jonah, my friends. So that's the first four books of Jonah with the intro, of course, coming out of the Orthodox Study Bible. That's going to be on the on the list tonight. And John Chapter 3, 1 through 36 is going to be our opening scripture. Uh, and, of course, want to send a shout out to Pastor Ina. Um, I'm going to be helping out on the IMVU channel. You guys can tune in, dial in, just go in, uh, type into your, your search bars or something like that. Uh, IMVU, sign up, get, a, uh, get your email, and uh, join us at the, uh, the Church of God's Children friends on that broadcast or on the uh, you know on the IMVU app so it's the church of god's children that's going to be over in IMVU I'll be up there simul uh, kind of uh, either live with this with the regular podcast or separate kind of uh, I don't have a real set schedule yet 
I got to kind of figure out what I'm going to do with that. But uh, what a great opportunity it is uh, to kind of step in and uh, and uh, do that podcast. You know, do the podcast. We'll do a regular Bible study. We'll have our Bibles, our coffee, of course. And make sure you have your coffee. Uh, and then, you know, we'll just have a regular Bible study. We'll hang out, hang out in the church of God's children, friends. So check that out. Uh, I was on there earlier uh, today and uh, again later on tonight or early in the morning, probably uh, I'll, when I go to uh, StreamYard TV, which I'm going to be back on later because, like I said, we've got a whole lot of stuff to cover. Uh, so that is the plan. So, uh, yeah, we're going <laughs> to we're going to be back. Uh, this will just be a brief update here. Uh, six six thirty, something like that, six fifteen, uh, and then I will be uh, reset for later on, and we'll go ahead and do a full Bible study podcast on Streamyard TV with Blog Talk Radio, Spreaker, and a whole lot more, brothers and sisters. Amen. Let's go right on over to our armor. Put our armor on, of course, after we have some fresh coffee. Amen. Always good to do that. How about Ephesians six ten through twenty, friends? Now, finally, my brothers and sisters. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, and against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand an evil day, and having done all to stand, Stand, therefore, having your loins girt about uh, with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness. Uh, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Take the helmet of salvation, the sword of the spirit, which we know is the word of God. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. And watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication once again for all the saints. All right. And for me that utterance may be given unto me that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. For which I am an ambassador in bonds that, that therein I may speak boldly as I get to speak. <laughs> and as I ought to speak. So you get some homework. How about that Psalm 90 or Psalm 23 and Psalm 91 is on your menu for uh, for the podcast uh, notes there. And, of course, I'll be jumping on that uh, scriptures later on tonight. So there you go. We're dialed in. We're tuned up, friends. All right, let's go to, again, uh, a brief update here on the audio part of the podcast. Spreaker, Blog Talk Radio, uh, Tin Can on the tablet there. And, of course, on channel... Uh, three are backup recording uh, Spreaker on one and three in radio.co UK friends sending shout outs to everybody and of course our our friends over in Japan Konnichiwa, Domo Arigato and of course everybody uh, on all your channels wherever you happen to be watching, listening, hearing your podcast uh, and I hope I'm on that list my friends, that's right well we have some fresh coffee going on Um uh, you know, hanging out, like I said, just a, a brief little update here, uh, just waiting on a text. So we're going to go into a few scriptures. Let's look at Hebrews, friends. Uh, let's go ahead and check that out real quick. And uh, as I go into my notes, uh, friends, amen, on this Wednesday, cold, crisp Wednesday. I tell you, friends, it's getting cold out there. I hope you got your jackets, your hats, your hoodies. Wherever you got, friends, because it's cold. It's a chilly one out there. Make sure you got your hot cup of cocoa and uh, your coffee. All right. So, uh, like I said, just a few scriptures here. And uh, I'll be kind of watching my phone for messages. All right. So, uh, so you don't want to know the page number. You just want to know where we're going to in the Bible study. All right, so bear with me here. Let's find it. How about uh, Hebrews? And we're going to look at chapters 10 through uh, 12, just a few chapters here. So let's go ahead and do that, friends. All right, let's break that, uh, bring that pulpit up here. Pastor Rick Ministry Podcast Network. There it is. Got to do that ID every once in a while and throw that in there. Uh, just, uh, you know, 
<laughs> so you guys know where you're at. I know where I'm at, I think. Anyway, uh, we're doing a, just a quick audio update here, friends. How about chapter 10 through 12 uh, as we look at the blood of the Testament uh, at uh, the book of Hebrews or in the book of Hebrews, chapter 10 through 12 on this audio Bible study podcast, friends. All right, chapter 10 in the book of Hebrews. For the law, having a shadow of good things to come, and not the very image of the things, uh, could never with those sacrifices which they offered year by year, continually making the comers the return or unto perfect. For then would they not have ceased to be offered, because that the worshippers once purged should have had no more conscience of sin. But in those sacrifices, they're in a remembrance again made of sins every year. Leviticus 16, 21 on your side notes there. For it is not possible that the blood of bulls and of goats should take away sins. Uh, we have Micah 6, 6. Now wherefore, when he cometh into the world, he saith sacrifice and offering, though thou wouldest not. But a body hast thou prepared me, in burnt offerings and sacrifices for sins, thou hast had no pleasure. We're going to roll right on to verse 7. So he says here in verse 7, Then said I, lo, I come in the volume of the book it is written in of me, to do thy will, O God, above when he said, Sacrifice and offering and burnt offerings and offering for sin, but what is not? neither hath pleasure therein which are offered by the law. And then said he, Lo, I come to do thy will, O God. He taketh away the first, that he may establish the second, by the which will we are sanctified to the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. All right, verse 11, And every priest standeth daily ministering and offer, uh, offering sometime, or oftentimes the same sacrifices, which can never take away sins. But this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins uh, forever, sat down on the right hand of God. From henceforth, in verse 13, expecting till his enemies uh, he made his footstool. All right, uh, let's see, 14, for by one offering, hang on here, friends, my computers are sleeping again, on the job, come on now, amen, all right, hold on here, so as we continue in 13, from henceforth, expecting uh, till his enemies be made his footstool, uh, for, let's see, 14 here, for by one offering, he hath perfected forever them that are sanctified hebrews 10 1 whereof the holy ghost also is a witness to us but after uh, that he had said before this is the covenant that i will make with them after those days saith the lord i will put my laws into their hearts and in their minds will i write them uh, all right uh, what do we got here 17 in their sins and uh, iniquities will I remember no more. Now, where remission of their is, right? Uh, remission of these is, there is no more offering for sin. Uh, as we look at hold fast to faith. Having, therefore, brethren, boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way, which he hath consecrated for us, through the veil that is to say, friends, his veil, his uh, his flesh there as we, we look at that in verse 20. All right, church, go ahead and uh, go on to 21. And having an high priest over the house of God, that's going to be over in 1 uh, Timothy 3.15. Let us draw near with a true heart and full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience. And our bodies washed in pure water, or with pure water. We got a couple of them for you here: Ezekiel thirty-six twenty-five and Hebrews four sixteen. There, are. there you go. Twenty-three. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, 
for he is faithful that promised. 1 Corinthians 1 9. And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and the good works, and to good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another and so much the more. As, hang on here, friends. Got those sleeping monitors and sleeping computers here. Got to wake them up, give them some coffee there. All righty. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's go ahead and maneuver this. Give me a second here, friends. Again, you got to refresh the laptops uh, every few minutes or so, every few seconds to, to keep them going, I guess. So we're going to. Get that going on channel uh, channel three here. Two, actually. Uh, two. Amen. All right. Let's keep going here. Again, this is going to be very brief. So I'm just waiting on a text. And we're going to we're going to keep rolling. So as we look, I believe we're still in 10. Uh, having, let's see. How about 19? Now, having, therefore, brethren boldness to enter into the holiest of the, by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way, which he hath consecrated for us uh, through the veil, that is to say, his flesh. And having an high priest over the house of God, 1 Timothy 3.15, let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith, uh, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience from our bodies or and our bodies uh, washed with pure water, Ezekiel 36.25 and Hebrews 4.16. Now let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promised. Again, 1 Corinthians 1, 9. Now let us consider, church, uh, one another to provoke unto love and to good works. Let's go to 25 here. Now forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another and so much the more, as ye see the day approaching, Acts 2.42. For if we sin willfully after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sins, but a certain fearful looking for of judgment, right? And fiery indignation which shall devour the adversaries. Now, in 28, he that despised Moses' law died without mercy under two or three witnesses, Deuteronomy 17.2. Of how much sore punishment, he says here. Uh, let's see, so I'm getting my bookmark straightened out. Uh, suppose ye shall uh, he be thought worthy, who hath trodden underfoot the Son of God. And have counted the blood of the covenant wherewith he was sanctified and holy thing, and had done despite unto the spirit of grace, Matthew twelve thirty one and Hebrews two three. For we know him that has said, Vengeance belongeth unto me, I will recompense, saith the Lord. And again, the Lord, friends, shall judge his people. Deuteronomy thirty two thirty five. Now thirty one is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. And you guys can write that down in your notes. There it is. Uh, 32, but call to remembrance the former days in which, after you were illuminated, ye endured a great flight or fight of afflictions. Galatians 3, 4. Now, partly whilst ye were made a gazing stock, both by reproaches and afflictions, and partly while she became companions of them that were so used. 1 Corinthians 4.9, 1 Thessalonians 2.14. For ye had compassion on me in my bonds, in my bonds, and took joyfully the spoiling of your goods, knowing in yourselves that ye have in heaven a better and enduring substance. Cast not away, therefore, uh, your confidence, which hath great recompense of reward. Matthew 5, 11 on that extra side note. Uh, all right. <laughs> Sorry about that, friends. Amen. All right. For you have need of patience, that ye after done the will of God, 
that ye might receive the promise. And again, I'm in the King James Version, friends, uh, if you're just wondering where I'm reading out of. All right, for yet a little while, and he that shall, let's see, and he that shall come will come and will not tarry. Habakkuk 2, 3, 2 Peter 3, 5. Now the just shall live by faith, friends. But if any man draw back my soul, shall n have no pleasure in him. But we are not of them who draw back in or unto perdition, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. All right, let's roll on to chapter 11 here in the book of Hebrews. Hebrews, right? All right, now faith, friends, as we know on your notes, now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Romans 8, 24. Ah, uh, for by the elders obtained a good report, Habakkuk 11.39. Through faith, we understand that the, the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. We've got a few uh, extra scriptures for you. Genesis 1.1, 1, 1, John 1.3, 1, 2 Peter 3.5 for your side scriptures. Now, again, this is examples of faith here in uh, Hebrews chapter 11. So by faith, Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous, God testifying of his gifts, and by it being dead, yet speaketh. And we got Genesis 4, 4, of course. By faith, in verse 5, Enoch was translated or raptured out. Uh, that he should not see death, and was not found because God had translated him before his translation. He had his this testimony that he had, uh, let's see, that he pleased God. That's Genesis 5, 29. But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Friends, that's a question you got to ask yourself every day. Are we diligently seeking the Lord? Are we just sitting on the fence, calling ourselves Christians? Got our Bible sporting in the car, walking around with it. You know, oh, I don't know the address. I don't know the scriptures. I don't need to know them. Well, listen, you do. If you're going to read it, you gotta, you got to be about it, not just talk about it, right? So anyway, that's what that is. So we got to diligently seek the Lord, friends, right? Separate ourselves out. All right, how about uh, seven? Before I get myself carried away, which I, I do, I know that. All right, so seven, by faith, Noah being warned of God, of good things. Again, sleeping monitors here. Uh, let's see, not seen. As yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by the which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness which is by faith. We got Genesis six thirteen and Romans, uh, Romans three twenty two for that. Now by faith Abraham, when he was called to go out into the place which he should after uh, receive for an inheritance, obeyed, and he went out not knowing whether he went. And by faith he should join in the land of promise as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. All right, Genesis 12, 8. For he looked for a city which hath foundation, whose builder and maker is God. Hebrews 3, uh, let's see, 3 and 4, or 3 verse 4. Through faith also Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed and was delivered of the child when she was past due or past age because she judged him faithful who had promised. Now therefore sprang there even of one and him as good as dead. So many as the stars of the sky in multitude and the sand which is by the sea shore innumerable. That's Genesis 22:17 there. These all died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off, and were persuaded of them and embraced them, 
and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. Genesis 23, 4. For they that say such things as, uh, again, let me get my notes here. And again, this is, a, uh, like I said a few times here, this isn't going to be the normal two and a half hour uh, Bible study. We're on our audio uh, Bible study here on Spreaker on channel one and back up on three with, of course, you guys know the channels. But uh, I wanted to jump on here, close up that gap. I think just uh, the sixth of the month was uh, just a just day or two here. So it hasn't been that long, but uh, I did want to make sure uh, that I, I got back on here. So again, this isn't going to be an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes here. Just a brief uh, podcast update here with some scriptures thrown in too. So let's keep going. Pastor Rick here, Ministry Podcast at Network. Francis will offer 6 o'clock, 8 or p.m. at night, early. <laughs> catching, catching the podcast early here, friends. Good for you. And a thank you, a big thank you to the replay listeners and viewers on all the channels. So thank you for that. All right, let's keep going. So again, as we look at uh, 11, Hebrews 11 here, uh, and 18 of whom he was said, or it was said that in Isaac shall thy seed be called. Now, of course, we did 17. Uh, so let's go back to that. I actually forgot to read that. Maybe I did. All right, uh, let's see. No, I didn't even read that at all. Um, hold on here, friends. Let me see where I was at. All right, so 10. Let's go backwards just a little bit more. How about 10? So, for he looked for a city which hath foundation to builder and maker is God. Uh, Hebrews 3, 4. Now, through faith also Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed. I was delivered of the child which she was when she was past age, because she judged him faithful who had promised. I, if I read this, it's okay. If I didn't, we're, we're right, a lot, right on it. All right. Therefore, sprang there even of one, and him as good as dead, so many as the stars of the sky in multitude, and as the sand which is by the sea, shore innumerable. That's Genesis 22:17. Now, these all died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off, uh, and were persuaded of them and embraced them, and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. Genesis 23, 4. 14. For they that say such things declare plainly that they seek a country. <coughs> all right. Uh, Hebrews 2. 13 14 and truly if they had been mindful of that country from whence they came out they might have had opportunity to have returned now 16 here but now they desire a better country that is in heavenly uh and heavenly wherefore god is not ashamed to be called their god for he hath prepared for them a city and by faith Abraham, or Abraham, when he was tried, offered up Isaac. And he that had received the promises offered up his only begotten son, of whom it was said, that in Isaac shall thy seed be called. All right, let's roll on to 19. Accounting that God <coughs> uh, was able to raise him up, even from the dead, where uh, from whence also... He received him in a figure, Romans 4, 17. And by faith, Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau concerning things to come. And by faith, Jacob, when he was a dying, blessed both the sons of Joseph and worshipped, uh, leaning upon the top of his staff, Genesis 47, 31. By faith, Joseph, when he died, made mention of the departing of the children of Israel and gave commandment concerning his bones. By faith, Moses, when he was born, was hid three months of his parents because they saw he was a proper child. And they were not afraid of the king's commandments. By faith, Moses, when he was coming, uh, was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for 
a season. We got uh, Psalm, uh, <coughs> hang on here, friends, Psalm uh, 8410. Let's get some copy. All right. Again, trying to avoid the sneezes and the coughs. Uh, that's uh, that's what I wanted to do, at least do a test run on the audio part of the podcast anyway. Uh, everything looks like it is okay. So far, so good. Uh, except <laughs> uh, I don't know what's happening with uh, with the verbal there. Oh, there maybe not. Uh, anyway, I don't know. Uh, let's see. You don't seem to get. And I'm not going to worry about that right now. We're We're just doing a test run on the equipment here so uh there it is hang on here all right let's go back we're just going to uh take care of something here friends give me a minute we're not I mean, we're live on the air i mean anyway you know we're we're already going on the other one here all right spreaker channel three back up resetting it just a minute we're just doing a test run here we're, we've got the live audio uh bible study podcast here on the 10th of january pastor Rick ministry podcast network friends All right and we're gonna back track that we're having some audio difficulties uh on our channel here so i'm going to just keep rolling with that we're not going to worry about that right now uh all right so as he says in 25 choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of god uh than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season uh psalm 84 10 let's go to 26 esteeming the reproach of christ greater riches then the treasures in heaven, or Egypt, not heaven, but Egypt, there it is. For he had respect unto the recompense of the reward. By faith he forsook Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king he endured, as seeing him who is invisible. Uh, Exodus 10, 28. Now 28, through faith he kept the Passover and the sprinkling of blood, lest that he that destroyed the firstborn should touch them and by faith they were passed to the red sea as by dry land which the egyptians saying to do were friends they were drowned all right bear with me guys uh, having some major major problems on our speaker channel so we're going to bypass that and go right to our uh radio deck home all right, let's keep rolling. Now, 29, let's see, uh, 28, through faith, he kept the Passover and the sprinkling of the blood, lest he that destroyed the firstborn should touch them. Bear with me again. Lots of sleeping problems here. Uh, 29, by faith, they passed through the Red Sea as by dry land, which the Egyptians, a saying to do, were drowned. Now, let's go to 30. By faith, the walls of Jericho fell down after they were compassed about seven days. And by faith, the harlot Rahab perished not with them that believed not. When she had received the spies with peace, and what shall I more say? For the time would fail me to tell Gideon and of Barak and of Samson and of Jethai and of David also and Samuel and of the prophets who through faith uh, subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched the violence of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, out of weakness were made strong, waxed valiant uh, in, fly, or in fight, and turned to flight the armies of the aliens. Judges, or yeah, Judges uh, 15, 8 there. Women received their dead, raised to life again, and others were tortured, not accepting deliverance, that they might obtain a better resurrection. And others had a trial of cruel mockings and scourgings, yea, moreover of bonds and imprisonment. And they were stoned, they were sawn asunder, were tempted, were slain with a the sword. They wandered about in sheepskin and goatskins, being destitute, afflicted, tormented, of whom the world was not worthy. They wandered in deserts and in mountains and in dens and caves of the earth. 
And these all, having obtained a good report through faith, received not the promises. In 40, God, having provided some better thing for us, that they without us should not be made perfect. All right. Well, let's see what time it is. We've got, we got a little bit more time to finish this out, so let's go ahead and do that right now. So, chapter 12. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight uh, and the sin which doth so easily beset us. All right. Uh, let's see. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Uh, Psalm 110, verse 1. For consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself, Lash ye be wearied and faint in your minds. Ye have not yet resisted unto blood, in verse 4, striving against sin. And ye have forgot, uh, forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as a, uh, unto children. My son, despiseth not thou the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, or chasteneth, as it says. Uh, and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. If ye endure chastening, or chastening, God deal with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? Friends. Deuteronomy uh, 8, 5 there. But if ye be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then... Are ye bastards and not sons? Furthermore, ye have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us, and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much more rather in subjection or be in subjection unto the Father of spirits and live? For they uh, verily for a few days chastened us uh, after their own pleasure. But be for our profit, that we might be partakers of his holiness. As he says, endure chastening. Now, in verse 11, now no chastening for the present uh, seemeth to be joyous, but grievous. And nevertheless, afterward, it yieldeth the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. Now wherefore, in 12, lift up the hands which hang down, and the feeble knees, Job 4.3, and make straight paths for your feet, lest that which is lame be turned out of the water, let's see, other way, but let it rather be healed. Follow peace with all men, and holiness without no man shall see the Lord, or which no man shall see the Lord, looking diligently lest any man fail the grace of God, lest the uh, or any root of bitterness springing up trouble you, and therefore or thereby many be defiled. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. For we know, let's see, know how that afterward when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected, for he found no place of repentance, through he saw, or though he sought it carefully with tears. Genesis 27, 34. For ye have not come unto the mount that might be touched, that it, uh, and that burned with fire, nor unto blackness, and darkness, and tempest, or storm, and the sound of a trumpet, and the voice of words, which voice they that heard uh, repeat or treated that the word should not be spoken to them any more. And 20, for they could not endure that which was commanded. And if so, as a beast touched the mountain, it shall be stoned or thrust uh, through with a dart. 
Uh, let's see. Let's go on over to 20 here. And so terrible was the sight that Moses said, I exceedingly fear and quake. 22, but ye are come unto Mount Sion and unto the city of the living God. Uh, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to innumerable company of angels, Deuteronomy 33, 2, to the general assembly, or the general assembly, and church of the firstborn, which are written in heaven, and to God the judge of all, and to the spirits of just men made perfect, and to Jesus the mediator of the new covenant, and to the blood of the sprinkling, and speaketh better things than that of Abel. Uh, let's see, let's, what are these side scriptures there? We've got Genesis 4, 10. See that ye refuse not him that speaketh. For if they escape not uh, who refused him that speak or spake on earth, much more shall not we escape if we turn away from him that speaketh from heaven, uh, whose voice then shoot, uh, see, shook the earth. But now he hath promised, saying, Yet once more I shake not the earth, but also heaven. Uh, 27 in Hebrews uh, 12 here. And this word yet once more signifieth the re uh, removing of those things that are shaken as of things that are made, that those things which cannot be shaken may remain. And wherefore receiving a uh, kingdom which cannot be moved, let us have grace whereby we may serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear. And he says in the notes here, let us hold fast, friends. All right, for our God is a consuming fire. Exodus 24, 17, Psalm 50, verse 3, and Isaiah 66, verse 15, friends. Can you believe that? All those scriptures there. All right, so that was 10 through 12. And we got one more for you, friends. One more. Uh, ver I think what I'm going to actually do, friends, we're going to jump back into our podcast notes. We're going to go uh, and close out with Psalm 23 and Psalm 20, uh, or let's see, 91, 23 and 91. Let's go ahead and go there. We're going to close the podcast out here. All right, Psalm 23, friends, one of my favorite uh, go-to scriptures, as always. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Oh, friends, here's a big one for us that we need to uh, we need to go ahead and just pray this out here. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. You anoint my head with oil and my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. And amen. All right, Psalm 91, friends. We're going to close the podcast out with this. Let's go ahead and do that right now, church. All right, he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my Elohim, my God in whom I trust, for he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler, and you will not fear the terror of the night nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. Uh, a thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. And you will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. All right. Uh, let's see. Because you have made the Lord your dwelling place, the Most High, who is my refuge, no evil shall be allowed to befall you, and no plague come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against a stone. And you will tread on the lion and the adder. 
the young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. Because he holds fast to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. And with long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation or Yakusha. All right, friends, that's going to wrap it up just under an hour. I know. Don't adjust your TV sets or your clocks there, friends. Uh, again, I just wanted to kind of get on here and do a quick, um, just a quick Bible study audio uh, part of the Bible study as uh, I haven't gotten on. I haven't done one of those in a while. As I'm grabbing some quick coffee there. So we've got a lot more, uh, friends. Uh, again, uh, I'm jumping on here later on, uh, either, like I said, either at 11 uh, or I'll set something up for after that time. We're going to jump on StreamYard because I haven't been on StreamYard in a while. It's been restreamed because I've been doing the uh, the series that I wanted to get out and get those uh, out there for you. So, again, thanks for joining me, friends. Uh, I do appreciate you. We'll have some more Bible study later on. Again, jumping on StreamYard, uh, I'll get that uh, set up. And uh, I'll have all that done and out, and uh, it'll be good. So uh, let's see. And I think we've got Twitch TV going on with us tonight, too, as well. So uh, stay tuned for that. You guys are signed up on Twitch TV. Uh, amen, friends. So, yeah, we'll be jumping back on here sometime. Uh, again, don't know when or all that. I never know here. Uh, friends, you know, uh, I... I just never know. Uh, our Wi-Fi is still kind of bouncing all over the place. And, uh, you know, I haven't just haven't got a chance to uh, do anything with that. So, uh, hey, man, anyway, that's going to close it out just under under an hour here. But, uh, hey, I wanted to get on here and do an audio Bible study podcast for Wednesday, the 10th of January. Again, almost 630. That's a, that's a, a good deal. Uh, you know, good podcast here for you. And uh, again, like I said, friends, I will be back up and running later on, either later tonight or in the morning, sometime after midnight or so, uh, jumping over on StreamYard TV. Once I figure out what happened with Channel 3, uh, the Spreaker app just completely blew out. It's not working. So, uh, you know, it happens. So I might have to reset some, some stuff there and uh figure all that out but yeah we'll be uh we'll be jumping in the book of uh john 3 again and um we'll be looking at that so that's going to be exciting there and let's see what else was i going to do oh yeah so john chapter 3 uh 316 there so well chapter 3 but uh and a whole lot more again we're going into jonah we're going to do a little quick series on Jonah chapters 1 through 4. That's going to be really exciting, friends. So bring your Bibles. Stay tuned. It's either going to be, like I said, about 11 o'clock tonight or early in the morning sometime. I don't I don't know whenever I get a chance to get back on, but we'll set something up and I'll, uh, I'll jump on StreamYard TV, friends. Now, it's either going to be a live broadcast or I'm going to pre-record it and then load it up to the channel. I'll be live on the other channels got to set those up, but, uh, uh, you know, it's, I, I've been finding that a little easier to go because of our Wi-Fi situation, where I actually am able to go ahead and do the whole live, uh, just pre-record it and, and then upload it to the channel, so either way, stay tuned, watch for that, friends, that'll be uh, up and coming uh, here, uh, either, like I said, early, early in the morning, or late at night, or early morning, so Planet by air, see what happens. Thank you guys again. You're just your you guys are so awesome, and uh, I really appreciate your support, subscribing to the channels, uh, and all those donations that uh, you guys have, uh, Kevin. And uh, it's it's just such a blessing uh, to be able to call you know to be called by the Lord uh, to preach this this good news gospel and this you know uh, be called into this ministry. Uh, it's difficult and tough as it is, you know, in the end, plus all the attacks, uh, it, it, you know, and like I said, hey, it always makes sense now that I figured everything out, but 
you know, we must endure to the end, friends. That's a key right there. We got to endure to the end uh, and just keep fighting through it and, and just tough it out. You know, just, just, you know, uh, thank God for everything. And, uh, you know, even though things are pretty tough and difficult at times, we got to hold on. God's got a good plan for us, friends. We just got to hold on. And, hey, and I'm, you know, I'm taking my own advice, right? Uh, or, you know, practice what you preach, right? But, uh, yeah, so uh, we just got to hold on. Like I said, friends, uh, endure to the end, as he says. Keep the faith. Hold on and, and trust God's uh, plan, friends. So uh, thank you, guys. Uh, I really, really appreciate each and every one of you. And, again, uh, trying to wrap up some of the the, the gaps in the podcast, uh, friends. Uh, and, again, it's because of all the, the health issues I've been having and our Wi-Fi situation. But, you know, hey, there's a will, there's a way, and I'll, I'll keep pushing through it and uh, keep going. So thank you guys. Uh, Ministry Podcast Network, Pastor Rick here, 630 on your dial, audio podcast on Spreaker, Blog Talk Radio, and more. Now, don't forget to join me. Uh, as I was saying at the top of the hour, don't forget to join me on IMVU. Sign up, subscribe, the Church of God's Children Friends. We'll be, uh, I'll be up there on that, kind of randomly for now until I figure out what I'm going to do and how I'm going to uh, do that schedule there. But I will. Uh, it's a great opportunity. I appreciate that from Pastor Ina. So thank you so much there, Church of God's Children, and uh, Soma Paidea Numa. Uh, YouTube, sign up, subscribe, friends. All right, well, that's a wrap. I appreciate y'all. Uh, have a good rest of your Wednesday night again. Uh, like I said, I'm going to try to get back on here on StreamYard TV, uh, either a live broadcast or a pre-recorded upload and broadcast there. And of course, we'll bring uh, all our friends back uh, once again, once I get back on Channel 3 and figure out what happened with, with our Spreaker channel, but we still have Channel 1 here. Uh, that's it, friends. Uh, warm up your coffee. Stay warm. It is going to get really cold this week. Uh, and, uh, you know, just, uh, just try to stay warm and, uh, do what you can. And well, I appreciate you. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Pastor Rick ministry podcast network for Wednesday nights, early broadcast here. Uh, I'll see you on the next one. Friends, take care and stay in your Bibles and keep the faith. My friends, uh, amen. That's it. Let's get that church on its feet. Cause Hey, you know, Church, are you there? Amen. All right. That's it for me, friends. Uh, you guys take care. Let me go to uh, Block Talk Radio. I'll see you in the next broadcast, my friends. Thank you so much for your support. See you soon, friends. Pastor Rick here. Ministry Podcast Network for Wednesday, the 10th. 530, early podcast here. Audio Bible study podcast. See you soon, friends. Take care. All right, hold that thought, friends. All right, let's wrap this one up, friends. Spreaker Channel 1, I will have this uploaded on the channels. You guys take care, and I'll talk to you soon, friends. Take care.